Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how to write the code for that is behavioral description of 2 is to 1 marks using if else statement. So if you are having a 2 is to 1 marks and with the help of behavioral description, how we can write the code for that using if else statement. So it is important we are writing with the help of if else statement here. Okay, so this is the basic design for 2 is to 1 marks where it will be having two inputs D0 and D1 and it is having a select line s so depending on the value of select line if it is 0 it will be selecting d0 and if it is 1 it will be selecting d1 to the output so it is just like many to one output so where it will be just uh, bypassing the input to the output so it is not uh, doing anything else rather than this okay so here is the enable bar pin so what it does is in case of mux if you assume that it is active low so in this code i, I assume that it is an active low type of uh, mux where if enable bar value is equal to 0 at that time the mux will be operational and if enable bar value is equal to 1 at that time it will be in the off state. So that is the significance of enable bar which indicates whether the mux is on or off. Okay so this is about the basic design of uh, 2 is to 1 mux. Now coming to the code. So first this is the standard here so entity and easy standard so this is the name which is given by the user so basically i can say programmer so i have given it as mux b2 so mux that is behavioral for b and 2 for 2 is to 1 mux so i have written like this so uh, now i will define the input and output ports here so port d0 in standard logic because it is a input and d1 it is also input so i will write in here then it is in standard logic as well and yes is also input and it is in standard logic too so enable bar is also in uh, uh, input and it is in the standard logic similarly for output i will be writing out here because it is acting as a output here okay and it is also in the standard logic so close the bracket and put a semicolon then we will be having end max b2 so we have uh, opened this max b2 then we need to end this max b2 here okay so uh, apart from this now uh, the architecture begins here so architecture behavioral of uh, so whatever the name which I have given in the above so that should be given here so it is not b3 it is b2 only because the same name should be used in the both cases so we are just calling this uh, function over here okay now uh, we will be having begin so that will uh, that indicates the start of this architecture here okay so it contains process so process means uh, we will be defining the uh, inputs here so d0 d1 s and enable bar are the inputs for this process okay so we will define a variable called temp so it is also in the standard logic so we need to assign the values for temp and then we will take for the output so that's why we will be using a temp as a, stand, um, a temporary variable here okay so for this process the begin is here okay so for architecture the begin is here for this process the begin will be here then uh, we will use the if uh, condition here so if enable bar is equal to 0 so at that time the mux will be on so that's why we will take if enable bar is equal to 0 and then uh, if s is equal to 0 then so if enable bar is equal to 0 and s value is equal to 0 at that time temp will be assigned with temp colon equal to d0 so d0 will be assigned to the temp so for this if uh, for this if this is the else okay if enable bar is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0 is one case if enable bar is equal to 0 and uh, s is equal to 0 else s will be equal to 1 here so it is assumed automatically so at that time uh, if s is equal to 1 that time d1 will be assigned to the output so temp will be assigned with d1 here so this if is ended here okay so this f ends here and y is assigned with the temporary value so temporary value is taken to the y so for this if now else will be here so if uh, then else else means enable bar will be equal to 1 at that time we know the mux will be in the off state so we can say directly the output will be equal to 0 so y is assigned with the value 0 here so and if so if this if loop is ended here then this process is end process and this end behavioral so behavioral module will be end here so end behavioral so like this we can write a code for 2 is to 1 marks with the help of if else statement so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel for more videos